Why have we not been able to stop the obesity epidemic, which has become a leading killer around the world and costs over $2 trillion each year? Because it is the result of broken systems that need to be fixed. For example, if you live in a neighborhood where the stores around you are stocked more with junk food than healthy options, if you live in a neighborhood where you can't find safe places to exercise or walk, if you don't have enough money to purchase fruits and vegetables or play sports, if everyone around you is living stressful and unhealthy lifestyles, you are caught in a broken system that makes it very difficult to stay at a healthy weight. How do we fix these broken systems? Well, first you have to understand them and how different policies and interventions may affect them. That's why we are developing our virtual populations for obesity prevention, or VPOP for short. These are virtual representations of towns and cities that include virtual people moving about their homes, schools, workplaces, food retailers like grocery stores, and physical activity locations like parks and recreation centers. In a lot of ways, it's similar to the computer game SimCity. These are truly multi-scale models because they represent the biology and physiology within each person, to their behaviors, to the surrounding social networks, and physical environment to the overarching policies and economic forces. We work with a variety of decision makers and stakeholders from start to finish to ensure the models accurately reflect the system and potential policies. VPOP is a, a really interesting development for us um, in terms of how we think about things because it moves us from thinking what have we seen to what could we see. What we saw by increasing the number of coaches, the obesity rate of the kids in those programs definitely decreased. We know there's some simple interventions that can be made uh, at the local level that can really uh, transform kids' lives. By scaling some of these programs, by doing the simulation models, you don't have to actually do it for 10 years to figure out what the impact will be, that you can project that out based on the simulation model um, via this VPOP program. VPOP has been a way of doing modeling work to really understand how neighborhood factors influence health. When you look at crime as it relates to individuals in at-risk areas of Washington, D.C., if you lowered crime rates and made areas for physical activity more accessible, you would see increases in uh, levels of physical activity and you would also see reductions in obesity. It's allowed us to think about how interventions within the community may work before we actually put forward the resources to implement an in intervention. The GOPC helps Project Play establish the value proposition for why stakeholders should invest in getting and keeping kids active through sports. They put real numbers, big numbers, on the table for the key organizations to respond to. According to the GOPC through its work on VPOP, if we can get just half of the kids in this country active and stay active into adulthood, we're talking over $8 billion in direct medical costs saved. If we can somehow get 100% of the kids in this country active and stay active into adulthood, we're talking about more than $26 billion. Using computational models like VPOP could transform obesity prevention and control around the world. Better understanding and addressing the complex system of factors involved with obesity gives us the chance to save and improve billions of lives.